So last time we talked about interspecific interactions, meaning interactions between uh, members of the same community, but two different species. And now we're gonna be talking about one of the consequences of those, which is the competitive exclusion principle. We're also gonna talk about uh, resource partitioning and then probably in a later lecture, coevolution, which are two strategies that organisms can use to deal with this competition that they're getting from other species. So what is the competitive, what is the competitive exclusion principle? It's when two species compete for the same limited resources, only one of them can exist there. Or as it says, uh, these two species cannot coexist at constant population values. One of them is going to decline eventually. And we sort of saw that in the uh, article that you guys read last week about the, the different kinds of barnacles. And you also learned uh, something called um, competitive release from that. And competitive release is when one uh, species is released from competition from another. It allows it to, to um, grow. It allows it to um, the, the populations to get much larger and be more successful. So that's the idea of um, competitive release. In the article, it was artificial, right, because they, like, got rid of the uh, the barnacles of the other species and saw what what the the first one did so how do how do we know though that competitive exclusion is a thing how do we know that only one organism can utilize a particular niche at a particular time one of the reasons that we know this is through um, experimentation so apart from just using logic to think about it actual experiments have been done one of these was done by this gentleman named gauss uh, who grew different species of uh, paramecium, paramecia in, in different environments. And you can see the two alone, that they do quite well. Um, if you just grow them by themselves, you give them nutrients, you give them whatever they need, they grow just fine. But then if you try to grow them together, you'll notice that one of them, the population does well and the other one dies off. Because again, if these two things are, are too similar, they're trying to utilize the same resources, only one of them um, can be successful in a particular environment at a particular time. And again, that idea is the competitive exclusion principle. So the question then in my mind is, well, is it ever possible for two organisms to try to utilize the same resources in the same place at the same time? Um, and the answer is yes, but they have to do something. And that thing that they often do is this thing called uh, resource partitioning. Okay, species can partition their niches by eating different things or by using different areas of the environment. Basically, the one of the species will diversify or go somewhere else but nearby uh, so that they can kind of coexist at the same time. This idea, again, is called resource partitioning. And here's a good example of resource partitioning. You have all of these shorebirds. Uh, this is like the third example of flamingos I've used in this week, but that's okay. And you can see they've just moved up along the shoreline and, and evolved to be in these different areas of the shoreline so that they can all coexist, they can all utilize uh, the resources available to them. Um, another example is these lizards. Uh, this is in your reading this week. Uh, these are very, very closely uh, related lizards. They're all closely related to one another and they have diversified to use uh, different areas of the same environment. And so you have these lizards up at the very top and you'll have these lizards sort of in the branches and these lizards are on, are on nearby plants, okay? So this is just an example of resource partitioning. The overall idea is the competitive exclusion principles principle. Two species cannot utilize the same resources in the same place at the same time. One of them will always succeed and win out and the other one will decline. In order to deal with this, organisms diversify uh, which resources they can use. So, you know, they move from the, the trunk up into the up into the canopy or let's say they move from you know the upper shore you know more down into the water okay here is that com 
competitive exclusion is being dealt with using resource partition.